Hello and welcome to Reality TV Cringe. I am one of your hosts, Delia, and I'm here with my real tight homegirl and my daughter-in-law, Beatrice. Hi, everybody. We are here to talk the secret lives of some Mormon wives. Oh my God, girl. And we should say that there were a few shows that we were talking about covering because, of course, Welcome to Plathville is winding down. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Oh God. God. So bored. Put a fork in it. (laughs) Done. Um, So that's winding down and we needed another show. And we had seen all of this activity on the interwebs. Yeah. About this Mormon show. And of course, we love the Mormons. Oh, girl. We want to learn more about Mormons. And we love housewives. We do love housewives. And so we decided to buy Hulu. Yeah. Which I didn't have Hulu, did you? No. (laughs) I had to buy Hulu. (laughs) Me too, yeah. Of course, I had to get it ad free. I didn't. Uh, Well, I did in order to watch this show. It's a business expense. There's eight episodes. Yeah. We watched the first episode and we're not skipping ahead. We want everything to be new every single week. Yeah. But I'm excited. Girl, me too. Shout out to my friend. Allie James because she was the one that messaged me on Instagram and was like bitch you gotta cover this with your mother-in-law and I'm like oh my god and I sent it directly to you because she sent me all these memes and you were like let's fucking do it I had been hearing so much about it oh my god but we had talked about covering 90 day fiance before the 90 days we had been uh, talking about doing the mommy baby daddy oh i i love a mama's boy i love a mama's yeah. boy we we're talking about forbidden love which yeah. we are going to probably do on patreon yeah but there's just only so many shows and so little time because Sorry we only that. meet once a week to yeah. cut these shows so we chose this one yeah and even if you haven't watched it if you don't have hulu we're going to try and break down the whole thing for you yeah. and take you on the journey of these hoes these thoughts these mormon wives <laughs> Okay? For real. And have a little bit of fun and we hope you join us. Yeah. Now, before we get into it, we do have to issue you a disclaimer. Please, hide your wife and hide your kids. This is a politically incorrect podcast. We say a lot of bad words. We have stupid opinions, especially Beatrice. And so if you're sensitive, you might want to find yourself another dumpster, baby. Mm. But if you're down to just talk about orgies and swinging (laughs) and extensions and fillers, then welcome to this dumpster. (laughs) And if you are down to talk about orgies, be sure to follow us on Instagram at RealityTVCringe and join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash RealityTVCringe. We're reacting to smothered up on there that soon. is wild do you know that they have a mother who bathes in her water and then gets out and then her daughter gets into the water and bathes too all with her dumpy booty and everything Dude, and they sleep in the same bed and they all cuddle up in the together. same water it is crazy it's nasty so we're getting all the way into that we're yeah. wrapping up couples therapy which has oh, been a fantastic season so good fantastic season love it we're gonna get into forbidden love how many videos do you think we have up on our oh my Patreon? god so many and how many audios oh hundreds hundreds of extra audios and uh, videos videos, like so much much content so if you just want to binge use some fat raccoons this is how you do it patreon.com slash reality tv cringe now if you are watching on youtube please do not forget to like and comment and share and subscribe don't forget just hit share copy the link you don't got to send it to you don't nobody, gotta send it to anybody. honey nobody cares just, just copy just it copy it so i gotta do that's all you gotta do for that please do that because every single thing you do helps us in the algorithm and so thank you in advance thank you all right take us away on our mormon <laughs> fantasy honey girl Look, okay when this started uh and they were doing Sam Smith. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit, in front of the temple. Oh, yep. So we have this scene with I don't know how many women, they all look the same. Yep. Interchangeable white women. Like seven women mm-hmm. wearing these blue coats, I think hearkening back to handmaiden, but not using the red color, oh, whatever. Hmm. And I was immediately sucked in. Oh, me too. Like, what kind of journey are we going on? Oh, my God. An insane journey, yes, apparently. As it turns out. Oh, my God. Okay, so this group of women, like eight women or whatever, started a trend on TikTok called Mom Talk. Yeah. This is how it all began. Okay. We're all a bunch of friends. They're all a bunch of Mormon moms. They're all married. They all have kids. They're all beautiful. They're all gorgeous. Drop dead 
gorgeous yep. tiny little bodies uh-huh. hair down to here totally extensions yep. makeup beat clothes hitting yeah looking foy looking foyne. and so they decided to capitalize off of that mm-hmm. and go on tiktok and do this trend called mom talk which is just a bunch of moms twerking <laughs> so can we just have a general conversation about this mom talk and TikTok thing yeah. because I'm a woman of a certain age and how dare you bring that up <laughs> but likely there's women out there semi close to my age because we attract what we are mm-hmm. we've got women some men closer to your age yeah and you're probably in a TikTok generation but from where I'm sitting up in the 50s over here I'm looking at all these weirdos just dancing on TikTok, and Yo. I'm just cringing so deeply into my body <laughs> that it turns into a kegel, which we call a kregel, because I'm like, you guys look so stupid. Oh my God. What are you doing dancing on the internet? Stop at this instant. Listen, listen. Why? These people dance on the internet so their videos can end up on the cringe pages on Instagram. That's where I see them. For us to watch it, oh because God. that's the kind of content I love. I love watching influencers make a fool out of themselves online because it's so ridiculous these women they're like my age i know <laughs> I'm 28 i'm actually older than a lot of them okay i'm so old <laughs> but they're like literally twerking and dancing and apparently they make a bunch of money so yeah. apparently i need to download tiktok no you don't and i need to start you don't twerking. let me download tiktok I want to download TikTok and get involved with all the kids. Oh, well, you won't be making money. You no, just I won't wanna, be. I you just want to watch anyway. videos. I just want to watch videos and stuff, but you won't let me. It's a long story. But <laughs> I just think it's such um, a sign of the times. Oh, my God. And it's just who we are as a society. Yes. It's so vapid. It's so bad. There's no substance. It's no- But this is all kids want to watch. It's, I know. And they're all doing the same dance, right? Like yes. They're doing the same dance around the world. The trendy and dance, then you've yeah. got TikTok challenges where you're yep. eating Tide Pods or mm-hmm. you're trying to like not breathe for as long as possible. And then you're dying. Kids are dying out here being stupid on TikTok. No, for real. Uh, wild. I Could never be me. Yeah. First of all, I can't dance like that. No, you can't. I'll break a hip. I can though yes, I can. You can. <laughs> yes, you can. patrons know that yeah <laughs> no but for real so these women are all twerking all dancing they claim it's all wholesome and fun on mom talk uh-huh. they go insanely viral apparently hundreds of thousands of views never likes. heard of them personally i've never heard of them at all but i'm not on tiktok so i'm listening to stevie nicks so what would i know <laughs> i'm like i don't know shit and then once they go viral yeah then controversy comes out specifically with one of the girls taylor Mm -hmm. taylor frankie paul who was a swinger Mm -hmm. and hooking up with people even though she's a good mormon lady okay time out what about that youtuber ruby frankie who was abusing her kids and like one of her kids escaped her home in Utah and he had like duct tape around his hands and he went to a neighbor's house. They called the police and apparently she was abusing the hell out of all of her kids and she was on YouTube trying to give parenting advice. You oh, heard about Ruby yeah, Frankie, no, right? Yeah, I've known her, yeah. Is Taylor related to the Frankie family in that way? I don't know. It's kind her name of is a unique name. Taylor Frankie Paul. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't Ooh. either. If any raccoons know, if please they're related, let, us know. let us know in the comments below. Anyway, so yeah, it was Taylor who started Mom Talk, and yep. it was Taylor who came out with a story that set the world on fire. Yeah, she went on TikTok Live and yeah. admitted to all of the rumors, basically, and said, yeah, so me and my husband are swingers, but we're soft swingers, so we don't like have sex, we just have fellatio and make out a lot and hook up or whatever, but it's like all consensual, it's fine, and all of the other girls in Mom Talk do it too. Now, wait a minute. Did she say that all of the other girls in Mom Talk do it, or did she say that this is something that is prevalent in Mormon marriages? Because... What I've heard on the radio Mm -hmm. is that, in fact, none of these girls who are on this particular show in this version of Mom Talk ever swung except for Taylor. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And so production is kind of setting it up that these girls are swingers and we're going to talk about it. But actually, it was only Taylor and it was only in her Mm. circles. I'm not sure. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, because she kind of alluded to the fact that other people were hooking up to But I don't know, because later we find out in the episode that a lot of the other girls were like, no, we had no idea. No, I went to these swinger parties, but I didn't participate at Uh all. I don't believe it for us. Yeah, sure. Second girl. (laughs) But at least Taylor had the balls to be like, yeah, no, we swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we fucking. We're doing all this stuff. We suck. We suck. (laughs) 
We sucking and we fucking. <laughs> I mean, props. Okay. I mean, Whatever. I guess if that's what you want to do. That's fine. I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to judge you a little yeah. bit. But she got married, I guess, to a guy. And then during this whole mom talk thing, she divorced him. Mm-hmm. And now she's dating um an ex-fentanyl addict, Dakota, who we'll get to later. Yes. Well, uh- I'm going to get to this right I'm gonna now. I'm going to get to it right Let's now because right now. when I saw Taylor, I'm like, wait a minute. She looks really familiar to me. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then as I kept watching, I'm like, that's the chick that I saw in one of those YouTube body cam videos. Because from time to time, I like to watch the police just bust people. And yeah. I'll just watch a 30 minute video of somebody getting taken down. <laughs> and I remember watching this pretty young thing peeing her pants and having the cops have to arrest her for domestic violence and I think child endangerment as well. Oh my god. Um, because the chair that she throws actually hits a child. <gasps> it's not just Dakota. Stop it. Yeah, no, and I remembered it. And I'm just like, holy shit, is this the same person? And I also remembered in the body cam footage her, her saying like, well, do you know who I am? I'm on TikTok. <laughs> I have millions of followers. I'm like, ew, cringe. They always say that. And here she is. Oh my god! And it's the same woman. I can't believe you saw her. I saw her. I totally didn't unrelated. Know. Didn't know anything about it. Oh my! Pissing god. in her pants, drunk as fuck. Yeah. What is up with people who are with addicts? Somebody like with a fentanyl addiction, no less, but who are willing to go out anyway and drink and even get blackout drunk while their mate is staying at home sober. It's weird, girl. Why I don't would know. you? I don't know. I think Dakota's sprung because she's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. So he wants to be with her because she's so hot. Okay. But she is not. I'm just saying, like, he probably thinks she's so hot. And he's like, oh, God, I got to keep her. Mm-hmm. But he's in, he's a drug addict. She wants to party. She's in her partying ho phase of life. She's divorced. She's still a Mormon, I guess. Sort of. But not following any of the rules. Right. So she's just living her best party life, and now she's pregnant. I guess. Girl. I guess. We see that in the season. Preview. I know. I'm just like, oh, God, you're all just out here. I thought Mormons were taking great pains not to do the whole tamale. Like, they were soaking. Yeah. They're doing it in the butt. Yeah. Because that's not actual <laughs> sex and stuff. Like, these yeah. girls are just getting pregnant at 16, at 19, and here she is just fresh out of a divorce one month yep. out of the divorce, and she's already pregnant by this other guy who's, by the way, a complete dweeb. He's a loser. But that's what happens when you restrict people so much. Because, like, in Mormonism, you can't even masturbate. You can't right. do any of that shit. It's crazy. I would never make it as a Mormon. Girl. <laughs> yeah, you out here fucking. Oh, well, you know. Touching, you out here sucking. Touching and everything. <laughs> I could never do it. Stop. I will. <laughs> I'm a sexual being. I know. I don't want to hear like about Lydia it. Like Lydia Grace that's from great. Plath, though. I'm oh, sexual. Oh, my God. Mm. Stop. No, but, yeah, like, I don't get it. But, no, yeah, that's either. that's a counterculture. It's a response to yeah. how strident mormonism i guess or the rules and tenets of mormonism are yes and i was talking to ethel about it because i told her we were going to cover the show and she started watching the first episode she's like i can't even finish it i'm so triggered Whoa. i'm like why are you triggered she's like the utah mormons are the worst mormons because they're always so fucking fake and a lot of them are doing this stuff where they're just partying and being complete degenerates because they're they feel like they can but mm-hmm. then they're pretending to be like godly and everything it's crazy she was so triggered she couldn't finish it well the whole mormonism thing strikes me as very um aryan nation like Mm -hmm. very white supremacy culty like i think there's a a person of color like layla i think she's a black girl who's somehow tangentially affiliated with this group but then i think i saw her in some of the scenes Mm -hmm. in in the first episode but like she gets no camera time yeah and we don't know who she is yet and she's definitely a secondary character Mm -hmm. and i'm like as a person of color i just have questions i'm not a person of color but like if you're a person of color who's also a mormon i have questions yeah because as far as i remember isn't it true that it was like built into the religion that black people were straight up going to hell automatically because they were black (laughs) and they were not to be accepted into the religion of mormonism i don't think it was until the 70s bitch really that they started allowing black people to go to their church i'm just like if i'm a person of color and i know the steeped the deep history of mormonism what's motivating you to want to be around this particular culture i don't know girl i don't mean to judge i'm actually very curious yeah but i'm like 
What it's are you doing? Kind of bizarre. Layla, you in danger girl. I know. I would like to hear more from her because we didn't get to all of the girls. There's like eight of them. Right. I wrote all of her names down, but I feel like it doesn't really matter. The main ones we got to were Taylor, the swinger, yeah. the hoe, Macy, Whitney, and who else do we get into? Michaela. Michaela. She's yep. got an autoimmune disorder. And then we saw somebody named Jessie who's got like a hair business. Called and Jizz Hair. looks like she's getting a lot of filler and she looks yeah. way older than she actually is. Yeah, she's the oldest one. She's 30. She's 30. Her oh, Whitney. Oh my God. So She's old. older than that though Crip because keeper. she's already fucking with her face and she needs yep. to stop. Yep. And that's we have all Demi. Oh, Demi. Yeah, I like Demi. Demi, who's she's married like, to a 46-year-old. Right, she's 29. Married to a 46-year-old. 46, like, whoa. And yep. he used to be on The Bachelorette. He what? was actually one of the contestants who was there to date Claire. Stop it. Claire Crowley was her name. Claire, yeah, like, I don't know, three or four seasons ago. Oh, my God. So he was on The Bachelorette, and now he's Demi's husband. Clout Goblin. Wild. Oh, my God. Yeah, and then we had Jen who's 24 we don't really talk about okay. her much okay well but yeah but she's got the husband who is going to be coming up that yes we're going to hate yeah i heard from my friend ally that jen's husband is going to be one of the villains yes i see him, him all over my age my ig and whitney yeah. apparently whitney's a big old see you next Tuesday. i can see it honey a girl yeah yes but we did hear from michaela michaela was um born and raised mormon she got pregnant at 16 mm -hmm. out of wedlock she's a hoe she's got the chronic skin illness or something married to some loser named jace i'm sure she's gonna be Totally drama, drama, drama. And Jace doesn't want to be in her TikToks. And everyone who views her TikToks thinks that her husband hates her. And it's probably because he does. Yeah, probably. Because mm -hmm. you're forcing him to be in there for content. But then we have Macy and Taylor kind of meeting up for drinks. Because I guess... Oh, they were talking about Whitney moving back to Utah. Yeah, and they were just catching up. And yeah. Macy wants to know more about Dakota, who, again, Taylor is dating. And yep. Macy wants to know about it. But Macy is also married. And I forget her white bread husband's name. But she's not fucking him. And she w wishes yep. he would initiate. And nobody cares. Let's get back to you, Taylor and Dakota. Yep. What's the deal with that? Yeah, apparently Taylor doesn't trust Dakota fully because of Reddit rumors. Because these girls are up on Reddit. Well, somebody from Reddit is reaching out to Taylor and telling Taylor that Dakota just the week before had slept with one of their roommates. Yeah. And so cheating is an issue with Dakota. Apparently. Like he cheats on Taylor. Yeah. That dweeb. Is really? I believe so. Oh. Okay. I believe she has long stand and will continue in the season based on what I saw on the IG timeline. <sighs> but you having a kid with him? I know. Girl. I know. But he cheats on her. Stop it. Why? This fentanyl addict. <laughs> loser. Goober. <laughs> Is cheating on her. And I think they're making tons of money on Mom Talk. Like, let's not state that. Oh, because yeah. Because this was generating hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars for these women. That's why I'm saying we should twerk. You should on twerk. On TikTok. I ain't got nothing to work with. <laughs> it's all right here, honey. Well, you can shimmy I can titties, shimmy. And you can you twerk. You can shimmy and I can twerk. Yes, And babe. then we can make so much money. Do you think anybody would watch that? I don't know. Your wife we'd, and my husband. We'd end up on the cringe uh, we, pages. We, we, cringe talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Um, and then we have the other girls meeting at a house to film mom talk content. It's very riveting stuff. Okay. And this is where they're talking shit about Taylor, about Whitney a little bit. They're like, oh my God, did you hear about the swinging scandal? Like, oh my God, we went to those parties, but we had no idea that that's what they were doing. I think one of the girls talks about Taylor flirting with her husband. Taylor flirting with her husband and also the fact that Whitney and her husband Connor who we'll get into honey yes, I got so much to get girl. into with you as the resident LGBTQ uh -huh. person yes. here yes. but so Whitney and Connor moved away from Utah two months ago at the time when everything was hidden with the swinger scandal yes they bounced out of town moved to Hawaii my place of birth uh -huh. by the way and they were there for two months, and now they are coming back to Utah. They're buying a home sight unseen, so they can probably kick off this reality TV show. Yes. But so they're wondering why she left like that, because at the time that Whitney left Utah, there were rumors that somebody had seen her husband, Connor, on Tinder. Uh-huh. Slash grinder. <laughs> I was gonna say! Was slash gonna grinder. Say totally grinder. Come on now. I mean, that guy... Uh <laughs> and Girl. so the theory is that Whitney used the whole Mormon swinger scandal 
to obfuscate and run cover for what was going on in her own marriage and just bounced, went to Hawaii, and now she's back. Yes. And they're talking about it. Yes. And I think they're right. Yeah. I think Me they're too. so right. And then we have Taylor also meeting with her mom mm-hmm. to kind of talk about Dakota. Right. And her mom brings up the fact that she's watching Taylor's kids like Mm -hmm. all the time and taylor's like what what do you expect from divorce like that's just how it is Uh." while she's getting drunk with dakota and probably doing fentanyl (laughs) and this is where she's also going to tell her mom by the way um i have to take a pregnancy test right and And her her mom is so exasperated oh my god (laughs) her mom is every mom and she even says you are so stupid you're so dumb you are so dumb you are ruining this family like all the mistakes you continue to make when the (laughs) fuck are you gonna get a grip you dumb bitch she doesn't say that but it's Uh, in her tone she gets up and she walks away but that whole conversation was funny to me because her mother is just telling her things about herself that are true and she just can't hear it no well you can't judge him for being a fentanyl addict it's not it doesn't define who he is i'm like well i mean kind of yeah and you have two children yeah and aren't you concerned that you're dating this drug addict and such no, because she was fucking other people before with her husband at right. swingers parties. Caught feelings for one guy in particular. God, was that Dakota? No, it was some other guy oh. that she was swinging with. And that's what led to the God. demise of her marriage. Girl. There's a lot going on here. So much going like, on. Like Taylor is just out of control. And yeah. she doesn't want to hear anything from her mother about it. And so her mother just stands up and says, okay, then. Deuces. I got to go. Bye. I guess just keep having babies or something. <laughs> oh, my God. I would be just like this mom, but probably even worse. I'd be like, you are freaking dumb. Also, I'm not watching your children. No. You can continue to have babies on your Baby Express, your Baby Express womb. Go for it. But I'm not going to keep watching them. So figure it out for yourself. Yep. This this is your responsibility, girl. Be an adult. Looks like a young mom. She's probably in her 40s. She wants to live her own goddamn life. Yeah. For real. And then we meet Whitney and Connor at their house. So white, they're translucent. Oh, my God. So white, they are ghosts. I can barely see so them. So white, I can see through them. I can see Connor's eyebrows, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Girl. Her skin is beautiful. Sure. Very clear and lovely. Um, so but the thing going for her. Th- there's nothing going for her. They're, who are these people? They're NPC people. Yep. But apparently they're relevant. Because her husband's a flaming homo, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> that was not established in this episode. Or I allegedly. mean, nobody even said that. I allegedly. said grinder. That was me. That was just based on me clocking him. Girl, I, I clocked him too. I've been around the world and I, I, I yeah. see my fair share of homosexicals. I'm a resident like, homosexual. But then it must be so hard if you're a homosexual and Mormon. Sure. No, like I yeah, don't think no, you're yeah. allowed to be LGBTQIA if you are Mormon. Yeah. And so he was probably groomed and programmed mm-hmm. to like marry the first woman and have a bunch of babies. And, you know, this is the end result. I, it's actually kind of sad when you think about it. But at the same time, like it's also obvious. I mean. It's also obvious. <laughs> like, I don't know what you guys expected, but they're kind of like alluding in this scene at their house. They're alluding to the fact that there's some scandal between them. A scandal. It's so great because prior to this, Whitney had been denying all scandals. Like when the Tinder rumor came out, she was like, no, that's fake. People are posting his profile. Like it's all fake. It's fake photos. It's from high school. It's lies. These aren't real photos. He would never do this to me. And that's why they moved to Hawaii. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right just to get away from the noise right so now they're back and connor tells her you know like i know i hurt my wife i know i hurt you i did some things but i'm really working on myself right i'm really trying to change and this is where whitney cries because her whole life is about to just crumble right in front of her i don't know why <sighs> what i don't know why young women beautiful women with a lot going for them not that that's describes Whitney but like any young woman (laughs) any woman in her 20s slash early 30s would stay in a relationship with somebody who is obviously signaling their intent to cheat and or has already cheated with a man or a woman but like why would you feel the need to stay with someone like that why wouldn't you have your own inherent value and, and get up out of that relationship but then when you think about the fact that Whitney is that mom on TikTok who was TikTok dancing next to her sick child in an incubator. 
So the incubator's right here, and she's over here dancing a TikTok dance and, and uploading it to TikTok. It went viral because it was so ridiculous and people couldn't believe it. And she got huge backlash for it because it's preposterous. And the world that we live in is preposterous. And she's <laughs> emblematic of why it's preposterous. This is the woman who was twerking by her child in an incubator. So I... you deserve your husband to be gay. I, mean, really? I can't believe that was the same chick. When you told me that, I was like mind blown because yep. I connected the dots. I'm like, oh, my God, I knew she looked familiar. That's her. Wild the time that we live the in. The mind rot, the brain rot, the, the brain spiritual rot. rot. Oh, We're rotted as so a species much. and she's our figurehead. Definitely. I mean, seriously, when we all, like when the society ends. Yeah. And aliens Which it's about to. find our artifacts. Yeah. <laughs> seriously, when right. aliens find it and they find these videos yeah. that went viral, they're going to be like, <laughs> wow, what an interesting stupid species right yeah i mean honestly i mean in 100 years if we're still around i gather that we will be just looking back at this generation God. and what all, the in all of everybody alive right now yeah. and what we put up with and what we <laughs> deemed entertainment also what we did to the planet i'm not going to get started yep. but like we're just going to be the laughing stock of every epoch every era Definitely. every millennia of time ever this is going to be called the brain rot era this is the worst the yeah. wally generation of yes. tiktok Oh, even worse. Yeah. Oh, Wally. <laughs> For real. And then we have Whitney gathering all the girls uh -huh. at the mom talk house because she has some news to tell all of them. Uh -huh. She wants to share with them that her husband's gay. Not really. She's going <laughs> to. It's the subtext. Yeah, yeah, that's the subtext. She wants to tell everybody her secret. She wants to be out and open because after the whole scandal with Taylor and her swinging parties and her orgies. She wants everybody to be transparent. Yeah. So she gathers everybody. She starts crying. And she tells everybody about the rumor on Reddit about her husband, Connor, having a Tinder profile was true. <gasps> and it's actually because he has a porn addiction. <gasps> Shocker. But he didn't cheat on me with anybody physically. He never hooked up with anybody. Sure, Jan. He never met with anybody. Sure, Jan. He was just sending nudes and videos and right. dick pics to these girls. Sure, Jan. Which I'm sure are going to get released, I hope. Oh my God! You know you're going to be looking those up. If Girl. they're on OnlyFans, you're you know you're paying that nineteen ninety nine, so yes. you can have access to 100%. all of those videos and photographs. Yep, one hundred percent. So she tells all the girls this, and all of them are shocked. And then Taylor's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, I'm pregnant." Yeah. <laughs> Stealing Whitney's thunder. 100%. Like Whitney actually gets upset. Like, well, this was supposed to be a powwow so I could share my trauma and I could get the, the, validation. Um, the validation that I needed. And here comes Taylor, uh -huh. as usual, taking all the attention with her pregnancy. With her being like, yeah, I was pregnant by Dakota's love child, but then I started bleeding. And so I went to the ER and they said it was probably a miscarriage or maybe like an ectopic pregnancy, like whatever that is. <laughs> like, so yeah, it's pre right. I'm pretty sad about it yeah <laughs> that's exactly oh how God, she Taylor, are you okay and so there's whitney sitting there mm -hmm. all translucent and unhappy yep and nobody's talking about her anymore yeah <laughs> i guess some people on reddit were saying that in high school whitney was the quintessential popular mean girl mm, I can and see that, that going into this reality show she had ideas of kind of emerging as the number one girl in the group like janet from the valley that's right janet from the mm. valley like all these ideas these dreams these big visions like cody brown yeah and like it didn't work out that way My and you God. can kind of see in the first episode and in these coming up episodes just how everything falls apart for her Ugh. I Which I love. love it. I, I love, love it. love to see it. Because those were the girls that were mean to me in high school. Oh, oh, honey. oh, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. I don't care. Okay. Maybe a good person. But um, I love to see that. Yeah. I can't wait to see her be the real villain. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to see her get more bitchy. Because it, just in this first episode, yeah, she's sitting there bitching about Taylor stealing her thunder. Like, why? You're sharing a traumatic, terrible secret. Like, did you want it to be this big old thing? Well... I felt in the way that they moved on so quickly to Taylor that all of those girls had already talked about that a mm. lot and had so already come up to their already come up with their own conclusions that he was on Grinder and Tinder and that it was real and that's why she went to Hawaii. So they already knew. Yeah. And so this is not some surprise revelation that's right. shocking the group right now, <laughs> Whitney. We've been new. But Whitney's been on a beach in Hawaii this right. whole entire time, so she yeah. thought nobody knew. But right. no, everybody's been yeah. knowing. 
And we've been talking about oh, it too. Oh my god, so good. Yeah. And then we have Taylor and um, her boyfriend, fentanyl addict Dakota, mm-hmm. going to some burger joint or something, having a date. And the only reason why this was interesting was because Dakota, fentanyl addict, is telling Taylor, I don't want you partying anymore. If I'm going to go back to the Mormon temple and the Mormon church and Mormon God on Kolob, I need a good girl who's not going to be partying, not going to be drinking, not going to be fucking. So you can't drink and no more partying. And Taylor's like, yeah no it's not gonna happen <laughs> just the audacity though i like, know you've gone out and spent all these years just doing drugs and partying and living it up and now that you have to get sober because if you don't you're gonna die you yeah. want to visit that upon everybody else and change the way that they live their lives that's not how it works mm-hmm. you have to have that inner inspiration to stay sober you shouldn't need taylor to do it now at the same time on the other end of that, if my husband was struggling with addiction, yep. I mean, I would want to support him in every way and I would not want that shit around him and I would not partake in it, partake in it. but I would probably resent it if all of a sudden he was in the AA and now he thought I was an alcoholic and I couldn't drink. You know oh, I mean? for sure. Like, yeah. Get fucked a little bit. I agree. Dakota. Yeah. Also, do we think he's so handsome? Because Taylor was going on and on and on about how he looked like Jake Gyllenhaal and oh he was God. so handsome. That's such and I'm a like, full of shit. But the photos I can see that you would think somebody like that is handsome if that's what you if that's what you <laughs> like honey you like you, you like oh yourself a metrosexual God. man that's fine but when you see him actually animating on camera i'm like mm, no it's that's one. a gumby motherfucker right there <laughs> oh that's God. a gumby motherfucker right there gumby. that's what makes me wonder if taylor's on something else something else that's impairing her vision a little bit like a dick like somebody else's dick no 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 like oh. another substance but yeah maybe another oh, dick <laughs> maybe it's Maybe she has a variety yeah. of dicks. Yeah, I don't Maybe. know. But Dakota is not it, honey. And if no. he's cheating on you, I looking mean, like that, being a fentanyl addict oh probably doesn't work. God. How do you have a job as a fentanyl addict? Seriously. Like, can you imagine being a fentanyl addict? No. I mean, I understand like heroin's bad. And yeah. I don't see how somebody could have a job on heroin. Maybe it's done. Maybe mm-hmm. they do it. But like fentanyl sounds even worse. It is So worse. you're just doped up and sleeping and nodding off yeah. the entire time. He doesn't have a job. No. He's not employable. He's a loser. Taylor's making all the money and yet you're going to presume to tell her how to live her life get fucked dakota the man dacity of it all true i can't true and then the last scene yeah. of this epic that we call secret lives of mormon wives is body cam footage oh my god from the utah police department or mm-hmm. whatever and it's taylor screaming well actually no it's dakota no it's some lady 911 call yeah Saying, I hear domestic violence. The neighbor. Somebody's shouting. Somebody's throwing shit. Like, it's crazy. Get out here now. And the cops arrive and Dakota's like, um, she's throwing chairs at me. She's insane. She's crazy. You need to talk to her. And the cops go and talk to Taylor. And Taylor's being a predictable female abuser Mm -hmm. and trying to paint it as Dakota was scaring her and that he put his hands on her when what he did, if I recall correctly, because I watched that body cam footage, is he pushed her out of the house because her kids were in there. He pushed her out of the house or placed her into the garage. And when he did that and manhandled her in that way and... I don't think he did it violently and he was sober at the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he puts her in the garage. She picks up some metal folding chair and throws it at him, hits him, hits a kid (gasps) Mm. and flips the fuck out. And so she ends up being the one who gets arrested for domestic violence, which is just shocking to her in the moment because so (laughs) many of these women just think Mm -hmm. that they're going to get away with it because they're women. But like, no, if you're an abusive piece of shit and you're fucking blackout drunk and you're violent and if they could hear you through the door when they came up, then you're going to go to jail. Yeah. And she did. With pee in her pants and everything. Oh, my God. So Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. She peed her pants. I know. Because she was pissed drunk. Yeah. Well, she said, I was so scared. I was so scared I I peed my pants. No, you were drunk. Yeah, you were drunk as fuck, bitch. You're slurring your words on this body cam footage. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Mm -hmm. Then we have the season preview, which is after the arrest. And Taylor being like, that was the worst moment of my life because I was humiliated after all of this drama, mm-hmm. swinger scandal, mom talk. <laughs> You're humiliated pregnancy, by that. miscarriage, and now yeah. you get arrested. And now you're pregnant again. Yeah. Oh, my God. With Dakota's baby uh God, Dakota's baby. Oh, my God. And Can then, you imagine him, the father no. of your baby? Girl. 
no Whoa. yeah no big yikes <laughs> big yikes and then we have everybody fighting to be queen bee of mom talk mm-hmm. as if that's what we need to be doing in life is fighting for <laughs> status of mom talk and then we have people showing their swollen vaginas what did you see that jesse was it jesse somebody one of the girls but show she, literally flashing had she pierced it or something and she was, was showing that? them i think she did something had some sort of a procedure maybe a vajazzle a vajazzle <laughs> done to her lips and stuff Stop like that it. and so she was pulling down her but i'm like oh god why like, are we showing i don't that? need to see that and then one of the girls talking about how she's never experienced an orgasm ever layla the, yeah. the, the beautiful black girl that i want to know more about girl she had two kids and never had one orgasm this is what i'm talking about mormon men travesty jesus christ oh my god, god men who don't give women orgasms now she could be faking it Maybe. but i doubt he doesn't know that she doesn't come or that she's not pleased. And he's just fine to stick it in, rub it around, yep. and that's it. And it doesn't matter. They just want their pencils wet. They don't care. God, these Mormon they men. Do these not Cody Browns of care. the world. Mm-mm. And then we have some Mormons going to a strip club, it looks like. Oh, that sounds and Mormon. Drinking. Okay, that's, and drinking. Okay, it's not Mormon. No, not Mormon at all. But they say they're Mormon. They're going to strip clubs. And then everybody's drinking. And then somebody says, everybody has a secret. So I feel like everybody's got some shit to hide. All right. And I'm living for it. Truly. You liked it a lot, didn't you? (laughs) Yeah. I know. (laughs) Well, we needed a little excitement after Plathville. Yep. To say the least. Yep. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's like Mormonism, Uh like which we are dealing with with sister wives, of course. But it's like turbo Mormonism. And it's fake Mormonism, too. It's trashy Mormonism. it's trashy. It's like, is it even Mormon? No. It's not really Mormon. It's just a bunch of young, trashy girls. Yes. Which we love. It's great. I'm enjoying it. Now, what I did hear, I wanted to share with you, was Hmm. that Taylor, who is kind of being set up as the main girl, number one girl in the group, who's, again, with Dakota getting pregnant and all of this, like, she was actually filmed as a secondary character. Huh? Yeah, for whatever reason. And I think Whitney was getting the bigger cut or the bit more time some of the other girls were getting more time and then everything happened with the swinger scandal and also her arrest and all of this other shit started happening they brought her back in for additional filming and recutting certain things and now she's coming out as the number one girl in the group oh my but she wasn't supposed to be initially or it it wasn't like that initially yeah interesting Mm -hmm. well there's no like tell all or anything with this show right like there's no like ending reunion or anything like that dang not that i know of but there's gonna be a season two there's gotta be because this is blowing up the internet right now yeah I'm living for it. I was very entertained. Are you guys watching? What do you guys think about it? Yeah. Is it too trashy for you? This is a dumpster. I mean. Like where else is there supposed to be trash but a dumpster? Hello. I had a lot of fun. I li- I liked it. I look forward to continuing. Me too. Now I do want to just address the elephant in the room and it's me. Oh, God. <laughs> No, but uh, which is that I think the season finale of Plathville is happening this week. And normally we have a review and we put it up within a few days. Right. But we can't do that this week. So yeah. these are the only two videos you're getting. The Sister Wives video from earlier and then this video. And then next week, we're going to come back and we are going to cover Plathville. Yeah. So a little bit of a delay, but we definitely will get to it. So make yeah. sure you hang with us, babes. Thanks. All right. Is there anything else that we need to say to these beautiful raccoons before we get up on out of here, Beatrice? Well, if you love our podcast, I sure hope and pray you go to your favorite podcast platform and leave us a glowing five star review it Ah! really helps us grow the pod and we really appreciate it thank you very much we will be back next week to cover sister wives secret lives of mormon wives and also welcome to plathville so a lot going on next week make sure you come back for that and Mm -hmm. until then please do not forget that we have nothing but love for you and i personally i mean that oh yeah me too i love them so much sometimes i call her and i'm just crying (laughs) I'm crying about it. Just how much I love you guys. So don't forget that. Yeah. And peace.